Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be sharing with you how I organize my baby's nursery as a mother who's blind. Now when I found out that I was having a baby girl, I was so excited to organize her nursery. And I went on YouTube and looked at so many videos, but nothing was helpful because most videos are just with music and there's no description. So I had to figure out a system that would work for me as a mother who's blind. So let me show you how I organized her dresser. This is a white dresser. And I added these pink knobs just to give it a girly touch. So the top left drawer and the first little, I have uh, organizing cubes. The first one are her bibs. The second one, her hats. And the third one has two big slots with her socks. And the little so slots next to it, I have her like cute socks. Like for example, these ones have a little flower on them. Uh, this pair of socks has like a lace trimming. And then the drawer next to it, top right, I have, it used to be her newborn, but she doesn't fit a newborn no more. I have her white onesies and her PJs. And to divide it, I'm using uh, drawer dividers. I got these on Amazon, I can link those below. And then back to the left, the second drawer is zero to three. Now with baby clothes, it's just way too many onesies with too many patterns and colors, so I'm not gonna memorize her clothes. So what I did instead was in the top left uh, square, I have solid colors, like all, if it's all pink. The next one is onesies that have wording on it. The next one is onesies that have designs, like flowers, stripes, and so on. Then on the bottom left square is her pants that have like patterns on them as you can see next to is her little shorts and then her solid color pants and then her drawer next to that so the second one on the right is three to six and it's the same thing but in this one she has her PJs and I'll be actually be moving these up to the top right since she's fitting into those and then the bottom drawer is the same thing it's six to nine and then the bottom left drawer, I have all her extra stuff um, that we have. So that's with this drawer. Now let me show you her changing table. On this side of the room, as you can tell, I have her diaper bag hanging here. And then I also have her uh, on the go changing pad by baby Fifi if you are interested in this I'll link it down below you can purchase it on Amazon and if you use the code um, Katie's eyes you get 15% off you guys this is so convenient I really love it and then I have her hamper her changing table you guys I wanted an old school changing table couldn't find it anywhere but then someone told me about baby thrift stores that's why I found it and my husband painted it all white because I wanted white furniture. So for my uh, visioning pair parents, this uh, changing table has two shelves. And the top one, I have these baskets that are from Target. So in the first one, it has her diapers and wipes. The second little one is all her like medicine, medicine cabinet pretty much, like her thermometer, her nail filer, her little boogie wipes, medicine and so on. The next basket inside has like a little cube and in that cube I have her washcloths. This is all her shower stuff. So I have her like baby oil, her brush, um, and all her shower stuff. <laughs> and then next to it in a little cube, I rolled up her burp cloths. And then behind that I have another cube that has her sample stuff. And look at this guys, I wanted to add this on here. We added hooks on here, so I have her little robe hanging, and this is where I have her towels hanging. Hey guys, I'm popping in in the future. I forgot to mention what's on the second shelf on the changing table. So really quick, on the second shelf, it's her tummy time mat, the baby carrier, her little boppy, and the portable little bed that I have. Okay, now back to the video. And then in this corner, I got some floating shelves, just set a cute decor on it, so I have like a little picture of her, this is her ultrasound, her little name, and little treasure box. And this is her heartbeat when we first found out she was a girl. So crazy. Now let's go over to her closet. 
And with her closet, guys, I did the same thing with the knobs. Let me show you. I added the same little pink knobs. I just think it adds such a cute little girl, girly um, detail to her room. So we'll start off with this side. She does have shelves. And what I did is every other shelf, I added a box which I got from Target. So this first one, I have all her um, crib sheets, her mattress sheets. Then the next one is her baby books. Then the next one is all her flannel blankets, swaddlers, all the thin blankets in a box. And then in this one, it has all her thick blankets. And in the top one, I have her toys and teethers. Now with her closet, um, well, I got from Amazon were these dividers that say newborns that are three through the six, six to nine, and so on. If you're visually impaired, I just memorize like which, like that the third one is a, a three to six. But if you're visually impaired, you can actually add braille labels on it. That would help you. And again, with her clothes, it's just way too much to memorize. So what I did, um, let me see, let me look for an outfit. Okay, here's one. So what I did with her outfits, anything that comes with a onesie and a pair of pants, I put it together um, in the closet. So I got these cute suede hangers from Amazon, and some of them also have um, clips if it's little shorts, so that way they can stay on there. And then on her shelf, I have all her little shoes and little socks with bows. And then all the way at the bottom of her closet, I have this big box full of diapers and extra wipies. So whenever she runs out of diapers in all the other rooms, this is kind of works like my refillable box. And then I just have an extra uh, packet there. And this is a basket where as she grows out of clothes, I throw it in here so I can either donate it or whatever I'm gonna do with it. And now the last section is her bows. So here are all her bows. When I first got this, I um, actually have this hanging next to her closet door um, and right next to the window for my visually impaired parents. I got this thing from Amazon. When I first got it, you guys, I did have it color coordinated, but honestly, it's too much work having to put them back exactly where they go. So for me, I just, it is just easier to hang them wherever and I just use an extra pair of eyes, whoever's around to uh, get a certain color that I need. Um, if you're visually impaired and you don't have anybody that helps you around, you can also use a color reader app or you can use a Be My Eyes app and someone could just help you pick out the right one. And then after that, I just have her little toys here on the side. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how you can organize your baby's nursery. If you share the same room with your baby, you can use the exact same system in your own room. And make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram as well as TikTok. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!